Saturday. I watched you fly away across the empty sky. I turned around. Hi guys, this is a very special video for me. I've been recording videos here on YouTube for over five years, and my husband has never, ever, ever allowed me to show any part of him. In one video, he did allow me to show his hand, just in a picture image. But other than that, nothing. So in this video, he was gonna make a project where he's using a, he was making a live garden, using a pumpkin as a planter. So I asked him if I could record it because I knew some of you guys would love this idea, especially if you're having a party. You can use these as centerpieces and then at the end of the night, you can choose a special guest and give them the live planter, the live garden as a gift. It's just so special. When you do this, if you decide to do this, just let them know that the planter isn't gonna last forever. At the most, about five days. But at the end of the five days, you have to replant the plants or put them in your garden. They're perfect for centerpieces for a party. They're just amazing, they look beautiful. So I, my husband said, yes, okay, I'll let you record me, just don't record my face. So that's what I've done at the end of the video. I still haven't gone to editing this video, so I'm gonna, Try and convince him to let me show a picture of him at the end of the video. So we'll see how that goes. So let's take you to the step-by-step -step video on how you can make your very own life garden using as a planter a pumpkin. My husband started off by measuring the pumpkin and exactly at 11 inches he's going to make a little mark and he's just going to turn the pumpkin around several times marking the 11 inch mark so that he could connect the dots all around. And he's gonna use this as a guideline when he begins cutting the pumpkin. So now it's time to cut the outline using a knife. And it looks very simple, but I'm sure it isn't that simple. That's why I asked my husband if he would do it. And for him, it was no problem. Here, he's gonna open the top and you guys are gonna see all the gushy stuff. Oh my goodness, this gets me every time. So now just empty out the insides of the pumpkin on a little plate. Actually, when my husband was cleaning it out, somebody stopped their car and asked us if they could have the insides of the pumpkin. That was really strange, but they took it so just clean out your pumpkin however whichever way it's easier for you using the tools that are easiest for you he's using a spoon and right here he's just finalizing the cleaning of the pumpkin there you can see the pumpkin's nice and clean he's going to begin adding the soil to the center of the pumpkin and make sure that your soil is nice and moist this way it won't absorb the moisture from the pumpkin the first plant we're going to be using is this rosemary one and it just smells amazing he's going to be placing this one in the center of the pumpkin and just making space all around. The second one he's gonna be using or planting is going to be the California Sunset. This one's drought tolerant and it's just perfect. The reason I tell you it's perfect is because you do wanna begin with moist soil, but from there on you're only gonna be spraying your plants. I'm also using a blue giant here. I just wanted different types of plants that were drought tolerant and that were different textures and different tones of green. And he's just setting these all around, several of these. And then the third one I chose, I believe it's the third one, it's the elephant bush. And this one's just also amazing. It's taller than the rest of them other than the rosemary and it just gives that perfect height the plant needed. So he's just going around fixing the little plants. We also decided to add some moss and it's uh, reindeer moss. And the reason we're doing this, like I said, is because we're not going to be watering the plant because we want our, our pumpkin to last as long as possible. So he's just going around adding that moss and when you spray your plant, this will help the moss stay nice and moist and it'll help your little plants. One thing my husband asked me not to forget to tell you guys is to add a cardboard or some type of little plate under your pumpkin just in case it becomes moist. You won't get any staining. I found this mushroom at the 99 cent store and I thought it would just add the perfect touch. Saturday so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and give these live garden pumpkins a try. See you I next time. You fly Bye. Away across the empty sky. I turned around and waved goodbye. And now it's me alone. It's just an air.